Good. So putting it back together, you take the diaphragm like that down. Then you want to put the spring on it. Doesn't matter which side as long as you did a good enough job flattening the top half there. Then you take the dimpled disc with the mm -hmm. dimple down because that helps to center the spring. Then you take the cap, put that over the whole mess. Then you want to take a set of channel locks and the goal here is you want to try and you're snapping that cap back down past the dimples. So you want to set the channel locks such that you can get it actually over the top of the cap and get a grip on the lip just below it. That's ugly. You want to work your way side to side, listening for clicks. Then the last thing that you want to do once you have it generally inside is you want to put it on a surface where you're not going to, where you can pound against it but you're not going to damage that little fitting on the bottom. And you want to take a center punch that fits inside the rim there that you can actually hit the floor with. You want to tap it, working your way around to make sure that the caps past those dimples at every point. If you want to zoom in on this. What you want to see is, if you look at a dimple position, you want to be able to look down and not see the edge of the fold up from the cap. So for example, this one right here would actually be engaged because you can see that dimple overlaps the rim of the cap. But on this side, you can actually see, if you run the, a pick or a screwdriver by it, you can see that the edge is actually on the outside of that dimple, whereas on the opposite side, I can run that screwdriver in, or pick, and it actually slides in pretty smoothly over the edge. You want to make sure that those are fully engaged because if you don't, when this thing pressures up, it might blow the cap off and you'll lose your pressure setting.